In next sense, cable installation fleet, we got uh, the old lady, the Skagrak, and the young lady, the Aurora. The portfolio of, of offshore wind projects is increasing almost every week, and so is the need for these cables that connects the wind farm to, to the grid. And these vessels are very crucial elements. What's important to us is make sure that the cable is installed flawlessly. It has been manufactured flawlessly, it's been tested, and it has been transported. If there's one inch not working in that cable, the cable doesn't work. And this is why the combined knowledge of designing the product and manufacturing the product flows into the installation of the product. We designed these cables to last 40 years, and that means they have to be protected against the hazards of the, of the sea. What you're seeing here is uh, an Exance uh, building to um, offer a complete turnkey product for offshore wind, from cable design to manufacturing to installation. The U.S.'s capability to service offshore wind is limited. You could almost look at the Aurora as an investment into what they believe is going to be uh, industry in the U.S. They took all of what they learned from the Skagerrak over the years and uh, they put all that knowledge into designing what you see here, which is the Nexian's Aurora. So once they're at the installation site, we'll just spool it back the same way that we brought it on, laying out the stern of the ship. Once they have it roughly in the right position, they'll deflate the balloons, lay the cable on the floor bed, and then they'll go in with the submersible to fine tune it and get it into the trench, trenched area. But the Aurora doesn't really need a whole lot of help. I feel like what I do is pretty awesome. I, I enjoy it, it's challenging, and uh, the fact that I'm helping with the climate crisis is just a bonus. What we're providing here, that's one piece of that puzzle.